uh, because we've seen camp, we've seen movies about the concentration camps, and you know, we, when I went to uh, location scouting, you know, there was a set that had been used for concentration camps. So I said, no, you know, we really want to look for something that's more interior to be able to be able to feel the, the feeling of it, and it's more suggestive to show what you're not showing and for audiences to imagine what that is. But again, it's, you know, as Kay was saying, you know, it's, you know, being able to see how that plays emotionally on on Lee and on Davy, you know, Kate and, and Andy Samber was was far more important and much more emotive. And you know, the the photograph was important to show. We didn't want to be able to show, you know, the the stacks of bodies in the camp necessarily. We wanted to be able to see it through Lee's point of view. And that was what was really important. You know, I said, we need to show it from how Lee saw it. And that was her intention. And because it wasn't published, you know, that was even more of our intention to make sure that that happened. And I'm sure, Tony, you can elaborate on, you know, all of the photos that she took. You know, it was part of her drive to get those photos out there and to be published was that Lee was such a staunch supporter of justice, as you were talking about earlier, and that that's part of the thing that happens, and I can identify with that, is that when you're going out and you're, something's happening to people and having been in war in El Salvador, you know, photographing it, you want people to see and witness, you know, what you've seen and for them to know, and I think that that's really important for Lee.